So Bloom, wonderful Bloom, said earlier, Bose, have you seen this video when posting all of your crimes to Snapchat comes back to haunt you? Who out here posting crimes on Snapchat? Well, I have pictures of you from social media doing stupid stuff. Hold on, buddy. I'm about to finish. <laughs> that's my girlfriend. My son is in there. He said, where can I get a pound? Or wait, that's not it. An ounce? Why is he moaning? In August 2023, as a Marquette County Sheriff's deputy concluded a traffic stop, he noticed an approaching vehicle in Westfield, Wisconsin. With his windows down, he could clearly hear the vehicle approaching due to its faulty exhaust system. Additionally, the vehicle had a few brake lamps that were not working. The driver was later identified as an 18-year-old male named Dominic, whom deputies were well acquainted with, particularly through his social media activity. The sheriff's office became aware of Dominic when he first moved into Marquette County earlier in the year. Another law enforcement agency outside the county alerted them that Dominic was publicly posting on Snapchat via the heat map feature. What? Some of these public Snapchat posts depicted uh -oh. Dominic smoking marijuana and brandishing a firearm with a laser light while making derogatory remarks about law enforcement. Furthermore, he frequently posted requests for info on how to obtain large amounts of marijuana what? and made numerous mentions of selling the drug. He said, where can I get a pound? Or wait, that's not it. An ounce? Half on a sack? I don't know. He was posting asking for help. That these posts were publicly accessible <laughs> to anyone on Snapchat, the sheriff's office decided to save copies of the videos as evidence. <laughs> on one occasion, <laughs> while conducting surveillance near his residence, a deputy observed Dominic recording a Snapchat video of the deputy's vehicle parked in a nearby parking lot. Dominic then proceeded. Bro, don't tell me he was taking photos of cop cars, posting some like these pigs and putting it on the Snapchat heat map. Did to share the video on Snap Maps, <laughs> along with more anti-law enforcement comments. Upon initiating a traffic stop, Dominic had accelerated at a high rate of speed and turned off his headlights. Going back towards the village on Warren Street. Two twelve. I'm with him. I'm calling eastbound Lawrence. Eastbound Lawrence. Northbound spring, northbound spring. Dude, you know he's Snapchatting this right now. He got one hand on the wheel and one, one hand with the camera. He probably posting thirst chaps with the uh, police lights in the background. They were soon able to obtain the registration of the vehicle, which was linked to Dominic. With the chicken strips. Uh. <laughs> I look over in the chat and I see you guys say, why is he moaning? And I was like, what are you talking about? Do I replay it or is it just gonna happen again? Why is he doing that? Today's sponsor is June's Journey. It's a hidden object mystery like detective game. Okay, if you guys are anything like me, I figured you would like a hidden object game. I mean, if you ever played those back in the day, it's just you look at a big picture with a whole bunch of stuff in it. And I mean, a whole bunch of stuff. And then you gotta pick out where the specific items are. Here, you play like this. Okay, so there's all these images in the picture and then we have to find a writing crop across and a cake. If you can't find it, you can get a little hint for some of them sometimes, but it's super fun and kind of relaxing to actually find everything in the picture. Now, when I'm playing, I like to scout out all three of the items and then tap them all pretty quickly so that you get the bonus points. I have always really personally liked hidden object games. I am determined to find the items, but there's other features that you might personally enjoy. There is a rich storyline, like this is set in the 1920s and it's a detective mystery game. And also, there's customization, there's remodeling. You have a mansion and a garden island in the 1920s. You can customize it, you can find new items, score points, and progress through all the levels. I've played it quite a bit and I'm just here to find the hidden objects. And trust me, it's a little bit more difficult than it seems. So if you guys wanna try it out, you can use the link in the description or you can scan this QR code right over here and start to Dune journey today. Also, it's available on Android and iOS. And if you wanna play on your computer, you gotta do it through Facebook. <laughs> We are northbound on Eagle 
approaching fifth, northbound Eagle approaching fifth. Uh, I believe that's going to be that Dominic revoked license. foot on the gas <laughs> oh <laughs> I can't I gotta go yeah. uh, why don't you at the next cross here turn off but uh, keep going for now uh, when you break go towards the house if you can gonna start giving instructions and be like hold on buddy i'm about to finish <laughs> to tell market i got primary northbound eagle from a northbound eagle from a throughout the pursuit he consistently ignored multiple stop signs turning off his lights and maintaining speeds well above the limit northbound eagle from a catching up to the vehicle speeds 90. Yeah, dude, I love Justice too, but Jesus Christ. 212, 219, what was your reason for stop? Equipment violation, flood exhaust, and uh, light violation. 10 4, plus plates not matching the vehicle. Uh, plates not matching the vehicle, 10 4, over. Also, by the way, does anyone have any napkins in their car? <laughs> Notify Adams in Washera County. No traffic. Two twelve market. Uh, vehicle is blacked out again. No traffic. Westbound first half. <laughs> By the way, we're in Adams County. If you want to let them know. By observing Dominic through the rear car window and clearly seeing his face in the rear view mirror, I, the deputy can- I don't know about you, but I had completely forgot about Dominic, <laughs> the star of the show. Dominic was indeed the operator. Marquette going through the stop sign of E County E and first no traffic continuing westbound into Adams County 212 Marquette northbound on elk northbound on elk dude stop first of all this is the fucking editors on the body cam channel not they're not adding anything in but they know what they're doing intersplicing the moans <laughs> But why is he moaning? The cutting to it every time it happens is just, it's its hysterical. That's hysterical. You gotta give him credit. Two twelve our kids. We are west on first towards Ember. I'm gonna get up to this next cross street and then probably terminate. Current speed is 73, You're right on him. Two twelve. what's your traffic volume out there? There's no traffic. If I'm approved to continue, we're northbound on Ember right now. He's blacked out. Slow speed. We got one vehicle. We are northbound on Ember. One vehicle. Uh, we got another one oncoming. His lights are back out again. I'm right behind him. At about 73. We're finding 44, 212. I'm still behind you. Trying to catch up. Speed's about in the between 70 and 72. Uh, every now and then he flips his lights on, on and off. I think Tom. Because of his reckless driving in the presence of other vehicles, it was decided to terminate the pursuit. Oh. I am going to right at the intersection of Ember and G. George. Vehicle continued westbound on Ember in the Adams County towards the tracks. I'm going to post up here for about 10 more seconds, and then I'll continue on Ember to check for any accidents near the railroad tracks. You see that guy? Yeah, we were just chasing him for about 15, 20 miles, so, yeah, so, I know, that's why we're terminating, we chased him for a good probably 20 minutes already. Play the mode yeah. again. Yeah, it's, yeah. 212, 218, recalling. Do you want us to go to the residence and try to figure out who's driving that vehicle? I got a pretty good visual on him. I'm very familiar with who he is from the previous case. I will definitely have charges for him, but uh, if we could set up, maybe just uh, wait for him to try to come back. We know where he is. We'll take him into custody then. Check in the area for any 1050s. All units on code. This is that subject I send the officer safety ATL about. He's the one that's always on the Westfield Snapchat stories, posting him smoking weed and known to carry a 1032 for 43. 
Oh, I had to look at the comments. The top comment with 3,000 likes says, Bro, the officer moaning during the car chase. The second comment says, Bro, why did that cop keep moaning? Noticed a pickup truck with an excessively loud exhaust drive past him. The deputy managed to capture the license plate, which belonged to an individual residing in the same apartment complex as Dominic. Additionally, it seemed that there were multiple occupants in the vehicle. Considering these factors, along with the fact that the vehicle was heading from the area where Dominic was last seen, deputies opt to initiate a high-risk traffic stop. There's a male in the back seat of that vehicle behind the driver. Two tall cat. We're high-risk stop right now. 225, stay at the res. Driver, turn it off, step out. Step out. Ooh. Keep your hands where you can see them. Ooh. Take the keys with you. Take the keys with you. Ooh. Take the keys with you. Let Dude, I must be... What's going on with me this week? Because the minute he got out of that car and started speaking all authoritative, I was like, yes. Am I missing something in my life? I don't know. Let me see your hands. Come back. I got a bad back. Okay. I You're got not a who we're after. Just keep coming back this way. Who's in the truck with you? Okay. Uh, He's in the Colin. He's in the truck. Come back this way. That's all right. That's the whole point of the lights. You got any weapons on you? Okay, come back towards me. Oh, it's a CC carrier in PA, not okay, here. Come back here. This isn't come the back guy. Here. Where'd you pick up at tonight? Can I sit, sit on my tailgate? This? You can sit on my tailgate. No, I can't sit. It'll hurt. Okay. I gotta. Step out with your hands up! We got a K9. If you run, you will be bit! When Dominic was asked oh to exit, God. he immediately I'm... claimed that okay. his vehicle had been stolen without any prior questioning about its status. Show me your fing hands! Show me your hands! You are under arrest! Step okay. back! I'm off. You weren't earlier when you were running, so step back. Where my car was stolen. No, it wasn't. I saw you with it. Step back. <laughs> step back. Keep low. Watch. Watch that bad man. Watch him. Walk back here. Shut up and listen. Walk backwards. If you make any stupid moves, my dog will bite you. Do you understand? Watch him. It's going to be your opportunity so you don't get yourself in trouble to talk to us when we're done, just so you know. Good boy. Yes. Keep low. Watch him. I said it's going to be the opportunity to talk with us so you don't get in trouble. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Stop. Hammer time. Don't make any moves. We have a canine. You will be bit. 219, Marquette. 1095. Okay, so Watch him. That's the guy, right? That's the... I'm also, I love... I love the... <laughs> Playing with the dog in between the cut. Okay, so that's our Snapchat guy, right? For sure. I saw you in the driver's seat. I have it on video. I don't need to talk with you, just so you know. Okay. Oh what do you got on you? He's so confident and eager for justice. I don't think this was the guy in the car that was moaning, playing with his wiener. I don't think this was him. I think this is a different guy. Hmm. Interesting. Listen, just me out, okay? I don't need to. It's a Volkswagen Jetta. I don't need to. It's, I already saw you. Wired You're right running. to the st starter somewhere. You can see it's got to push the start. If you go find it, it's got to push the start. You can argue with the video. You can argue with the video. That's fine. I have it. We have a also, lot. Also, I just want to be clear. Like, I don't. I don't want to date a cop. That's like not my MO. Also, I'm married. I think I just like want to be yelled at right now or something. I'm not sure. I'm just being frank. A video camera, sir. It's a starter solenoid. You're under arrest, so. Fuss, go boy. Can I talk to Jay before I nope. go? Nope. Right. So I haven't seen my friend in a small town. Why oh, you got him? Good oh my god, no, I'm not married married, but like I'm one of those girls It's like so ride or die that I'm like like yes, we're married like no, it's my boyfriend I have a boyfriend you guys know I have a boyfriend. Oh, you got him good up there. God boy So this is gonna be your opportunity so you don't get in trouble. Yeah, okay. Wait, Obviously we yeah. saw him Can't talk a man. Oh. Can't talk a dog. Driving that vehicle when he ran from us The Volkswagen because you picked him up I, for clarity here. He's bent over the car like this because he said he has a bad back i i do i like i love the clips where he's playing with the dog he's like good boy and so it's your your cooperative that's my girlfriend my son is in there you're transporting a felon right now okay where did you pick him up at in adams okay and why did he have you come pick him up there you said that his car was broke down okay who else is in the vehicle okay my son is in there baby don't let him take him so is this your truck that's my father's. Please, that's my son. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble tonight for what he did earlier. That's, not that's why. I, that's why I told you straight up. So I told you straight up. If you, we know what happened. Yeah. And you're the one that's transported him. Yeah. So that's why I'm trying to keep you out of trouble. I would have never went and got him. Okay. All right. I'm straight up. I don't know where his vehicle is at the moment. Okay. I picked him up at a buddy's house. 
Okay. I'll let you walk out back to the truck so you can get a little bit more comfy, all Thank right? You so much, I do sir. need to grab your ID, though, okay? Well, you need help? No, no, no. It's... So I'm just going to be honest with you. If I find out that you're lying to me, I will arrest you and charge you with obstructing, and your kid will go to social services. Do you understand me? I understand. I'm very aware. I've been in situations like this. Okay. When I was a kid, I was around on a four wheeler, slid off it. Okay. I broke a bone in my back, and it never grew in there. Right. Did he send any messages to you at all about what transpired tonight? His phone is off, and so is mine. So how did he call you? Uh, the house phone. He must have asked somebody. Any weapons in the vehicle? No. Any drugs in the vehicle? No. So if I deploy my dog, the dog's not going to alert to anything in the vehicle. No. Mr. Is that true? What's that? If I Bro, she said the house phone. I, I love that. I remember couple years back when my roommate and I we got our first place one of the first things I did because I wanted to be an adult was to get a house phone and then we got the house phone and we got the landline and then we just looked at it and we we're like well what do we do with this now it's like we both have cell phones and then we never used it what's that if I deploy my dog around the vehicle for a free air sniff he's not going to alert to anything in the vehicle I don't think so shouldn't well I know that when you went and picked him up from the four-way in Grand Marsh was his black vehicle there I didn't see it it's too dark for me I could barely see at night. So how did he call to get a ride? He called from his buddy's house. Can I get in the car? You can hold the keys. I'm not going nowhere. Well, I know you're not going anywhere. Hey, Deputy Zimmer over in Marquette County. I'm looking to see if you're, one of your deputies could go check a uh, residence for me. Yep, he made a poor decision tonight. I'm sorry for you guys coming out here like that. No, that's, that's why I told you. I'm straight up trying to give you the benefit of the doubt because, like I said, I have him on video. Yeah. And if you guys start to try to live on his behalf, that's when you start looking up a criminal, a tree here. So that's why I, I gave you that warning before we did anything yeah. else because I, I mean it when I say it. But like, there's no tricks here. I, yeah. Oh, and she's underage, by the way. Yeah, I know. It's his other half. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we know everybody that gives oh. us. That's why she's blurred out because she's a minor and he's an adult. And that's his girlfriend. I'm looking to see if one of your guys can go out there and see if the suspect vehicle from our pursuit is out there. We have him in custody. Someone went and picked yeah, him Chris? up and we got him. Chris, he's right here next to the moaning officer. What's his charge? Oh, he's going to have a uh, second degree of reckless endangerment and safety, felony flea elude. He's got an open case right now for disorderly conduct, so he's going to have bail jumping. A um, bunch of traffic tickets. I got to see if it's still open. I just know he has a risk. Yeah. He posted his cash bond, though, so that would be bail jumping for it because he committed another crime. And it's really dumb of him when we know who he is because he likes to flaunt his stuff on social media, which I'm going to go back to my squad. I'm going to show him all the pictures we have saved of him. So. Hi, bud. Let's go up. Oh, boy. Yeah. So I'm, I'm letting you know. I mean, stay clear. We know. I know this truck. The reason I stopped this truck was because I know this is parked right at your apartment complex there. I, I know there's a high probability that he's inside of it. <laughs> There's no when you're when you're in a small county. It's just that's just how it is. I just say we close the door and I'll. Okay. There is a. Hold this. Baby in here. Yep, that's fine. Who's baby? Put your arm in the vehicle. No. Whose baby is that? Isn't that the girls, right? Question mark. No way. Here, it's the girls. No way. Oh, we can pause the alert. Just be honest with me. What are we gonna find in the vehicle? I don't know. I don't do any drugs. Okay, well, he smells, he reeks of weed, so. He does? Yeah, he does. It's on the back That's tailgate area, not so. Me, though. I don't right, know. Right, okay. Well, Dude, I swear, hometown weed is the stinkiest fing weed, bro. They got that stinky, inky dog. If you live in a small town and you're smoking weed, I don't know what it is. It's always that gasoline. It's always the stinky on the back That's tailgate area, not so. Me, though. Right. Okay. Well, if you or is he able to send a tailgate or somewhere just for his pain and everything? Yeah, it's fine. Cool. Okay. Driver said that he got a call and said that he, his vehicle broke down and he needed to ride back home. So I'm pick him up. Well, driving the way he was driving, I don't. Mm -hmm. Not surprising that it broke yeah. down. And the best part is this: my am on video. Yeah, y'all be y'all be out here in Wisconsin smoking that skunk. <laughs> and not saying it's bad. But it do be really stinky. Like, you can't go anywhere. Y'all ever met, like, a hot Cheeto girl before that, like, after she smokes, she, like, has her spray with her and she, like, d sprays herself down? Driving, I don't... Mm -hmm. Not surprising that it broke yeah. down. And the best part is this. I have him on video. Because yeah. I can clear his day tell who he is. Hey, right. Love it. Mm. If anyone told you what's going on, so your boyfriend led four of us on a high-speed pursuit through Marquette County, through the village of Westfield, and out into Adams County. Um, so he's going to jail right now for felony eluding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, that's where we're at with that. Okay. Um, 
Did he have anything on him, or do you have anything on you? No. Because the dog alerted the vehicle, so I'm going to be searching everything in the vehicle. He gave it to me. You can ask him. It's his. It's marijuana. Oh, okay. It's his. Perfect. Where am I getting transported to? You're getting station. transported to the Marquette County Jail. It's over in Montana, correct? Sure is. Is he running weed? I mean, uh, no. Oh, absolutely not. I know no. that for sure. You sure about that? Yeah, no, absolutely. So all the that he posts on the snap map and everything else? About yeah, no. He uses that recreationally. He doesn't. He doesn't know I'm, I swear to you, he doesn't. Because the that he posts on the snap map, I mean, come on. Yeah, that, we we can know. agree that that's not recreational. I know. And I'd be willing to bet that if I went as far as to get a search warrant or petition the court for a search warrant for your house right now, nothing there? No. So he probably delivered all of it wherever it was going? He doesn't sell, I'm telling you straight up. He's asking for well, people to buy from him. Do y'all believe that, that he doesn't sell weed? Snap map. I don't have him... I don't check Snap Map. I don't. I barely use Snapchat. I'm not on my phone ever. I mean, he's Instagram. posting. He's posting this to the public. Like when you guys were at campground. Yeah. What did you post then? He was soliciting people to buy dope from him. Really? Yeah. Well, I have no idea. We're very familiar. What is dope? If you're new here, I didn't do drugs and was not offered drugs in high school. Sorry, I'm a little out of the loop. What exactly is dope? If someone tells you that Steven sells dope, that means. Steven sells illegal drugs. Dope is weed? I thought dope was like hard. I thought it was like crack. Whatever. Okay. No problem. Really? Yeah. Oh, I have no idea. We're very familiar with him. He's t making comments about popping cops and doing all this other stuff on there too, about having oh. firearms. Hey, there's Shelby Bubba, I'm smoking right now. Shelby, I thought you were a Christian. Cops and doing all this other stuff on there too, about having oh. firearms. Hey, there's pictures of him with the firearm on the, there was, on mm -hmm. the snap map. Oh, I have, I honest to God have no. So obviously we have the, the marijuana issue yeah. that with him. What else is in the vehicle? Like I said, I don't want to go move your baby and all this stuff because if, if I have to, we're going to be getting yeah. human services involved and everything there's else. There's nothing that I know of. Okay. Dominic's vehicle was eventually located by a neighboring sheriff's office. Adams County's out with that vehicle. Who's ever the least involved if they want to head over to where they found it and follow it back to impound. Oh. What are we doing? Great. Dude, did they edit this like one of those TikTok videos where they're restocking the fridge? Incredible. Alright, this way. Yeah, that's a ladder. Hi there. They were really assuming your Mm-hmm. We're taking your car. Yep. A couple things to remember is just uh one, the second you moved up here. I put out an officer safety bulletin because you like to flash your gun around Snapchat for some stupid reason, okay? <laughs> I have pictures of you from social media doing stupid stuff. All this stuff is saved. All this stuff's going to be in the cloud, all right? We know where you live. How do I know you're going to be in that truck? Exactly. We know everything about you. I could see in the back of the car. I could see when I was looking through your rear view mirror that it was you. I'm not BSing you when I say I, I have everything I need. That's why I don't need to talk with you. I want you know from a standpoint from us, when you come up to a county where we will chase you for any reason, as long as we need to, the only reason I stopped was because I knew who you were and I didn't want to go too far into the other county and leave my guys, you know, stranded to handle calls by themselves. I want you to know all this stuff for your benefit because you still have a chance to possibly turn this around. All right. I mean, this is all stuff that you could have gotten away with when you lived in Watertown. Not here, all right? I'm, I'm not joking with you. Like, I know everything about you from the second you moved up here. And the reason was is because I have connections all around the state. And they said, hey, this guy's up your way. Here's all of his social media stuff. I said, great. Sent that all that stuff out to the department. Easy peasy. When we have problems with people or we have people that cause us problems, we know everything about them. So we only have 17,000 people here, okay? So I'm just letting you know that from your own standpoint from moving forward. I know you got fired from Breakbush last week. I know everything, okay? I'm not joking with you here, okay? I don't, I don't, I'm very straightforward. Sometimes it rubs people the wrong way. I let people know exactly everything I know. There's no secrets with me, you know? And you know I'm not BSing you when I'm telling you this stuff. <laughs> So. This guy did not think anybody was seeing his social media stuff, especially not a cop. He probably thought, like, I don't matter. Nobody's watching. Like, who cares? Whatever. That insecurity is exactly what got him caught. You do matter, and people do pay attention. Like, even if you're not getting hundreds or thousands of likes on social media, like, you exist. People see you. Oh, and I don't, and I can't even put this in any court of law or anything because you're in custody technically. I'm just doing it more or less for your benefit, for my benefit, to hopefully not have any more problems with you. What's it? 
So right now, what he's booking you in on is felony flea looting, felony second degree recklessly endangering safety, possession of the THC. I believe you're still on bond, so it'll be bail jumping. I have to confirm your DOT record because I know you've had problems in the past with driving to see what your L at license status wise. The two big ones are the felony flea and eluding. And because, I mean, I'm guessing that uh, you probably see the YouTube videos when people are turning off headlights and stuff and driving the opposite lane of travel. That doesn't change anything we do. So that's why the second degree recklessly endangering safety is on there because we're still going whether you do that or not. And you're endangering everybody else on the roadway. So those are the only two felonies that you got. The others are just misdemeanors for now. Okay. Can we please add him moaning one last time at the very end of the video? <laughs> Don't forget, check out our sponsor, June's Journey. Click the link in the description. And also, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, okay? Hey, just hit the button.